kind of questions you need to ask. It's a book. It's a whale. It's a book about a whale. I don't know. It's about a guy who tries to chase the fish and then he like kills wants to catch it so he like kills it. <laughs> well actually Moby Dick is a book written by Herman Melville in 1851 and it's a sea story about Captain Ahab's voyage to find the white whale Moby Dick. <laughs> Aren't they like the same? In the I'm gonna say, uh, God gave us free will in my opinion. I believe in free will because I believe that uh, people should take responsibility for their actions and that uh, free will gives people the power to make good choices every day of the week. I'm gonna go with free will. Okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, free will. Free will. They get to pick what they want to do. Cool. I kind of think we're predestined. Um, I think that we all have a path that comes about. I think I, I would kind of say both, but I would I would tend to probably say more of the free will um, because I do think that if people put their minds to it for the most part, they can get to wherever they want to go. I think free will. I think people make their own destinies. How can you prove that your free will wasn't predestined? According to my research, the book has a reoccurring theme of predestination that dominates the entire novel. The characters are helpless in escaping their destiny to fighting the white whale. Hey, hell yeah. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, sure I would, yeah. Why? <laughs> because if it was math, I would never pass math. If I really didn't like the teacher, yes. <laughs> Just to get it. Yes, because I don't like that teacher, so... Would not, no. I don't like drinking blood. I've never <laughs> experienced that, so... <laughs> yes, definitely. Why? It's free edge. <laughs> <laughs> I've done... That's not that weird. Yeah. That's, I mean, I guess that's weird, but I can definitely do that. Yeah. For what class? So let's pretend it's... How much blood? Yeah, sure. No, I wouldn't, because it's not worth it. It's funny that you ask that, because in Moby Dick, Ahab requires the people on the Pequod to drink a special wine in order to be on the ship. Ahab secretly required them to take communion. Um, do, do, you, do I get a third choice? Nope. You don't get a third choice? Um, I guess I'd rather be with a drunk Christian than a uh, sober cannibal. Why? Because I don't like being dinner. <laughs> okay. Let's say a drunken Christian. Sounds more fun. The drunk Christian, because he'll just pass out. <laughs> Oh my god, that is the weirdest question I've ever heard. Um, I would say drunken Christian because they're less likely to eat me than a sober <laughs> cannibal anyway. Okay. I would have to say a drunken Christian. That might be a little more exciting because I'd be afraid I'd be eaten a lot. <laughs> a drunken Christian. They would be more fun to hang out with. Um, I'm gonna go with the drunken Christian. I don't. I wouldn't really want to be eaten by anybody, whether they're drunk or sober. Sober cannibal. Well, cause why not? <laughs> What's the downside of being with a sober cannibal? Just because they're cannibalistic doesn't mean they'll eat me. There'd be food on the ship. They'll be distracted by that. A drunk Christian. Because the cannibal will eat me. I don't want to be eaten. I don't think a drunk Christian would eat me. I would prefer to be on a ship with a sober cannibal because then I'd have the chance to reason with him or her. 
Well, in this quote I found in Moby Dick, Melville says, It's better to sleep with a sober cannibal than a drunken Christian. It implies that what matters is actually on the inside.